Today at the delicious crescent we are making easy aloo gobi that is roasted in the oven but tastes authentic and delicious. This recipe will give you tender and nicely spiced vegetables that still retain a texture. We can make a lot of it with minimal cooking effort. No frying, no overcooking so we retain more nutrients and best of all no mushy looking aloo gobi. Now let's make it. So gobi means cauliflower and aloo means potatoes. First we cut the vegetables in uniform bite size pieces. Here I am using Yukon gold potatoes. These and red potatoes will give you a firmer bite and russet potatoes will give a softer bite. You can cut the potatoes slightly smaller than the cauliflower as they take a bit longer to cook. Then we slice either red onions or shallots. Slice them neither too thick nor too thin. Shallots would be milder in flavor. Now we cut the cauliflower into bite-sized and uniform florets. Cauliflower is a nutritious vegetable, low in calories but high in nutrients, antioxidants and a good source of fiber and some vitamins and is known for its cancer preventive potential. And we can make this aloo gobi with or without onions and tomatoes. I think that tomatoes add a pop of color and taste and I use grape tomato halves as I like some texture in my veggies. If you prefer the tomatoes to soften and blend into the dish then use soft and juicy tomatoes. In a mixing bowl take olive oil, cumin seeds, black seeds are optional, garam masala, ground coriander, chili powder, turmeric, dried fenugreek leaves also known as kasuri methi, grated ginger, grated garlic and combine it all into a smooth mixture. Be sure not to skimp on the spices. And don't forget to add some salt. Then I add the vegetables in two parts. First I add cauliflower, potatoes and toss to coat well with the spice mixture. Make sure that the spices get inside nicely. Adding the black seeds and dried fenugreek leaves is my twist to this recipe. I think that the dried fenugreek leaves add a nice depth of flavor to this dish. And always make sure to use fresh ginger and fresh garlic for amazing Indian dishes. It really makes a difference. Then add tomatoes, onions or shallots, green chilies and stir to coat the vegetables well. Aloo gobi is a pretty healthy dish full of vegetables. It is also gluten free and vegan. I have been making this in the oven for years and absolutely love it. The vegetables don't dry out and hold just the right amount of moisture. So that keeps the taste authentic. Now spread the vegetables in a single layer on a baking sheet. If you like it well roasted then scatter the vegetables a bit far apart. If you like it more moist then pack the vegetables compactly in a layer. Bake in an oven that has been preheated at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for about 25 to 30 minutes until the vegetables turn brown and crispy on the edges. Be sure to toss them half the way through roasting. The vegetables should be cooked well and shining with oil on the surface. Stir in cilantro, lime juice and adjust the seasoning before serving. Another way to make it is to first pre-roast the vegetables, then cook the onions with spices on the stove, add the roasted vegetables and simmer until ready. Aloo gobi goes well with rice or parathas. We have a nice recipe for parathas on the channel that you can watch. And if you enjoyed this video, please like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you next time.